Prior to actual ejection from a high-performance jet aircraft, the stability of the seat must be determined. The seat is loaded aboard a cargo aircraft from which it will be dropped, occupied by a parachutist who had participated in its design. We see the seat and its occupant leaving the aircraft. The stabilization booms are already extended. In an actual ejection, they would be automatically extended as the seat separates from the aircraft. Red signal smoke generators are mounted on the booms for the purpose of facilitating photographic recording of this test. Observing the descent of the seat from the ground, we see the drogue parachute deploying at 15,000 feet or 4,600 meters. The main parachute starts to deploy, but in this particular test, it collapsed partially. The subject received an opening shock estimated at 16 and a half G and lost consciousness. Fortunately, his reserve parachute was opened by the preset aneroid timer and separated him, still unconscious, from the seat. He regained consciousness a short time before landing and can be seen to be none the worse for his experience. Here we see the successful result of the preceding stability test and many others like it. This is an actual live ejection of the new seat made from an F-106 aircraft flying at 22,000 feet at a speed of 535 miles per hour.